Good morning, guys. Uh, Barbell Brigade, about to steam some clothes, getting ready for a new launch. And what you see in front of you is the new Underdog Collection. So we got tees, tanks. Ooh, it's one of my favorite pieces right here. This tank is a camo tank. I think it looks dope. We got crew necks, hoodies. We got fleece shorts and joggers. I know people love our joggers and our joggers are just coming back. Um, I brought some of the amphibious shorts to wear with some of these clothes. So I think it'll look good. And then you guys might be peeking over here and going, what the hell is that? This is the new Barbell Brigade backpack that comes with this line. But before I go into this sick ass backpack, let me explain what this line is all about. So this line is called the Underdog Collection. And the reason why it's called the Underdog Collection is when you think of Barbell Brigade, what do you think? You think the skull, right? Like that's the most recognizable logo of Barbell Brigade. You see that at any expo on the street at the airport. Like, yo, Barbell Brigade, dope. But the BB is just as important to us as the brand internally. You know, it's inspired by the two B's over here and it's just as important to us but it's almost like it's living in the shadows of the bigger brother which is the skull and so um, what I liked about this concept of the underdog collection is right now especially this year like all the stuff that we're all going through you know no one is having fun with the pandemic no one's having fun with the businesses getting shut down. No one's having fun with like, you know, being quarantined and just all the obstacles and hardship that people are dealt with. And I'm like, yo, that's kind of like being an underdog. You know, like you, you want to be the champion. Like these BBs, they want to be as recognized as the skull, you know, even, even our old skull. Like they want to be that, but you just, have things in your way. So as a, the underdog, what I love about underdogs in every single fight, they have grit, they have um, determination, and they put their head down, they work twice as hard to get to where they need. And I'm like, man, this time more than ever in this world, we need that underdog spirit. And this time more than ever, I'm like, let's put our second logo as our main logo and push that forward. So that's why I really, that's why I really like this underdog collection and the colors are dope and I even like the whole military palette because you know in the military it's all about adapting and overcoming and so if there's a challenge in your way there's an obstacle in your way there's something getting in the way of you and your goal you adapt you overcome it and uh, I steam one shirt already so we got blue we got all these and then I'm gonna rock our amphibious shorts with some of them and i'm really happy with where the entire barbell brigade line is coming is coming together because everything fits with everything something that we drop in january fits perfectly with something we're dropping in august and it just looks good together like even the beanies the beanies look good with the backpack looks good with our shorts that we dropped looks good with the slides that we dropped a long time ago it just everything is coming together and i am so happy and let me tell you when this drops we have so many moving parts sometimes I can't um, can't remember off the top of my head but let me see the underground collection drops August 19th Wednesday 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time that's August 19th so go check that out if you love that underdog mentality if you want something to remind you yo the work is never done we got to put in that work to get where we want to go underdog collection August 19th Barbara Brigade Link in the description below, and you can check out all of this stuff. All right, guys, so in front of me is the new Barbell Brigade backpack, and I'm super excited about this because a lot of you guys have been asking for backpacks. We already have a mesh duffel for dry clothes, and don't worry, we are gonna come out with a regular duffel very soon, but in the meantime, we got this backpack with this water-resistant material, so if you just even look at it, you can tell if water hits it, gonna drip off which is super dope and we designed this backpack to be for school for work and also for travel so there's a lot of really cool features one of my favorite ones is this right here so there's a zipper that goes in the small of the back and for those of you that travel you know that there is this 
common thing that everyone knows where people can either take a knife and gut your backpack, stuff falls out, or they can pickpocket your stuff. And so usually you wanna keep the least valuable things away, uh, closest to you, but we all like, you know, we're packing and we forget, and so we have some of our most expensive things like a phone or even our passport out here because we want easy access. Well, guess what? We got a travel one where this is the closest to you, so it's gonna be really hard for people to pickpocket you, and it's, and it's right here. So we got this. Uh, going to this side, we do have an easy access one. I highly recommend um, things that you need to get fast but are cheap, like, you know, like little corded headphones or like little like portable mice or USB drives. Up here, we got our compartment, and this part's really cool too. Oops. How am I doing? There we go. Right here, we got not only a laptop sleeve, but we all got tablets and stuff these days, so also a tablet sleeve, so you can carry both. And then we have four compartments to separate all your gear, whether it's hard drives, socks, if you're traveling, and everything is padded, so if you touch it, it's all squishy. It keeps everything nice and safe. Up here, and then over here, we have another easy access pocket to put your other stuff on this side. So I would recommend shoes. You can put your shoes or your training equipment. You can put your, fold your belt, your knee sleeves up, stuff that you don't want to stink up what's in this main compartment. So that's what's really cool about this backpack is that it has two main compartments. The big one over here, you put your laptop, and this one out here, you can put other stuff, which is still padded. So if you touch it, so for some reason you're walking around and someone just wants to punch you in the back, you're gonna be protected still. Probably by a lot, because there's a layers, a layers of protection. There's thickness in here, thickness in the middle, and thickness back here. And then also we have a place where you can run the wire. You know, if it is raining and you wanna just keep your music player or whatever running inside, you can run the wire out here. Of course, gotta have our drink holders on both sides. And we have handles, handles everywhere, just to make everything easy access, you know, to be able to like pull things out, because when you're traveling, you put it on a bus or you're putting on an airplane, things aren't always laid the perfect way for you to grab a strap. So we have straps and handles everywhere. And uh, last but not least, we have this mesh system so it keeps things ventilated, which is really cool. So I'm, overall, I'm really proud of our very first backpack that we created. I think it's super sleek, super stealth looking. I think it would look dope on the back of a motorcycle, bike, walking around, going to the gym. And it has all kinds of features, so make sure you go check it out. Thank you. Cool, I got all of the wardrobe set up now. So I'm gonna be wearing these black fleece shorts with the hoodie, with these two tees, the blue one and the gray one. I got the gray fleece shorts, I'll be rocking it with the black one. And that baby shorts, walk it with the white tank. Also this crew and this crew. And then the olive and baby shorts. I think it looks really good with this tank top, this black hoodie, and then with the joggers, I think it always looks good when I have some sort of like actual kicks to go with it. So probably walk it with either one of those guys over there. But about to get ready to shoot. Justin's here, he's our photographer at Barba, always kills it. Every time you see dope photos, dope videos, this guy. All right, just got back home from the shoot, about to get some food with Mom Bear, and she's what complaining about my car. What's wrong with my car? Like the seat's really high, you have this grandpa thing. Well, cause I had an injured back. So how am I supposed to be the world's strongest powerlifter if the injured back is still dry? So I'm trying to get recovered so I can go back to smashing the weight. It seems like I'm the only one that's doing it these days. What do you mean? Like in the family? Or no, like in, in the general? world. I gotta Wait. lift all the weights for the world. Wait, but girls are stronger than you right now. So what are you talking about? Damn! Look at our friend Steffi Cohen. Yeah. Yeah, she's like way stronger than you. No, we're the she's same. Not even we're literally exactly the same, so we're how, both world okay. champions. How, wait, no, you're not yeah. the same. Yeah. Because we lift, if we lift like, the same weight. She weighs like fucking a hundred and. Like, Don't make fun of her weight. That's messed up. hundred pounds. Why are you making fun of her weight? That's so messed like up. Five two. I'm not making fun so of. So you're anything. making fun of her weight. I'm making weight. fun of you. I'm saying that you're weak. 
What? How can I be? So if I lift the same as a world champion, well, that's that just literally weight, says no. that I'm as just as strong. That I, that's why I literally brought in gender, weight, and height. So you're gonna make fun of her gender too now? I'm never making fun of her gender. I Damn, fact, that I'm is proud crazy. of her. I'm like, blow, I'm boasting about her. So not only did you try to insult me, you're also insulting people's genders and weights. Hey weight. man, if that's the world you want to live in, that's telling yourself great. lies. I saw Steffi squats like somewhere between four. 450 to 500 and me too so I don't know why I don't have a medal because I pretty much hit the same you number as a world like champion you're almost like 200 pounds hey are you so now you're gonna try to compliment me oh that's a compliment hell yeah you said I'm, you said I'm straight manly you're weird man baby can I take this shit off please I'm gonna crash Take this it is off so then. uncomfortable. I take it off. How do I take it off? What the fuck is this fucking gotta, Chinese you, contraption? You gotta go in the back, get to Amazon's. I'm surprised they, you don't have those fucking dad beats on your chair. Oh, I hated those. My mom had those. Those things would pinch you, you know that? In the summertime, if you're wearing shorts, like you would lean up against it and it would like straight pinch you like this. And I'm like, ow, ow, ow. I can't do this you shit. You have to go in the back and un- This is un already better. You gotta unlatch it like a bra. Okay, this is already better. <laughs> Oh, so then you don't know how to do it either? What do you mean? You got unlatched like a bra. Yeah. Tomorrow when I leave. In and out. That's what all hamburgers all about. Hey, you can't just take it. This is just meat. Look, you don't even like just meat. You thought it was french fries, huh? Don't throw stuff. What are we saying? Put you in timeout again. You can't throw stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Uh oh, what are you gonna hey. do? Cut it out. Don't get in big trouble. Don't get trouble. in big trouble, dude. Don't play. Play trouble, dude. You love, you're just like your dad. You love. <laughs> you just have to move one inch. You just have to move one inch. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. I'm not your dad. I will. Well, I got that, that. And that's that. What, what about pits? It sounds like baby cuss words. <laughs> pits. Tip. Cup. Poo. Tap. Salt. Ducking. Ducking ditches. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like sounds like you're just straight cussing in baby terms. You done of a bitch. Hey. Too close to the real one. <laughs> Fine. Stitch would be better. What? You daughter of a stitch. Duck my sick. Okay, come on. Okay. Come on, let's eat. Put that away. <laughs> Put that away. <laughs> Funny, can you please go outside? She's been with me this whole time while I'm working and she's just underneath my desk. We gotta go, come on, let's go. Grandma's gonna leave. Come on, come on, Franco, let's wait, go. Good girl, thank you, thank you. I was trying to catch grandma going out because she does such an amazing job watching Taika that I feel like it's the only polite thing to do. So even if I'm busy in the middle of work, which I'm not right now because I finished working, I want to go out and say bye. And also just kind of like, it's it's good tradition and good manners for Taika to learn too. Oh, she's, oh no, I didn't get a chance to say bye. Bye, Ma. Bye, Ma. What happened to your meeting? What meeting? The neighborhood watch meeting. Oh yeah, I need to be in the neighborhood watch meeting. Oh, that's right now. Okay, see you later. I'm going right back inside. I'm so glad I came out here. I just turned off my computer, but we're trying to be more involved in the community. So, um, I'm so glad that <laughs> she straight up was like, wait, aren't you? I'm, yeah, there's this neighborhood watch meeting. We're trying to keep the community safe and there's fun coming right back with me. And I need to join it right now because it's six o'clock. And I just turned my stupid computer off and I gotta turn it right back on. So, I'll see you guys later. You guys can pet Fonny with me. Hi, Fonny. Here, you guys can pet her. Yeah, Fonny likes this part. She likes when I go here. Look at how old my baby girl is. You can see her white hairs around her snout. That's a good indicator that this girl is a senior. That's a good angle. It's such a cute angle of you. Oh, come on, let me do it. Can we see your white hairs? Good girl. She's the best. You're the best with your long little snout. And your big old teeth. That you scare everybody. But you're so afraid of everyone. 
beautiful, beautiful girl. She's the best, huh, guys? <laughs> I love that angle of her. You would think this fur would be like really, really soft, right? Look at that. It's not, it's freaking coarse as hell. It's so thick. You so thick. Okay, I'm gonna stop with this. You're shitting all over the place. We just got our house cleaned. Okay, wait. I know this is not like, but like deep clean. Like people came and they washed all the floors. I do that regularly, but they do like a deep, deep, you know what I mean? Like they get up and they like clean all the um, blinds and they go up there and they dust everything. Like this is like the deep clean. My head smells like fall now. <laughs> Let's go back to that. But anyway, I only brought that up because I was, um, I saw myself rubbing her and then all her fur falling off and I'm like, damn it, we just cleaned everything. C'est la vie, baby, that's life. Another thing, oh, you guys can't see it because we're I'm vlogging on the GoPro today. Forget it. I was just going to tell you guys about a house, a bird house that Taika and I picked out. And sorry, I'm trying to close the door. Let's see if you can see it. That little yellow thing there. We have a really wide lens on this thing, so. Yeah, I, I put it up, I want to say, like three days ago. And not one bird has visited it. What am I doing wrong, you guys? I know some of you guys are bird experts out there. Let me know, what am I doing wrong? How can I catch more birds? I don't care that they're gonna make a mess with all the seeds on the floor. I don't care that we're gonna have so many birds that they're gonna be shitting all over that one spot. I do not care. I wanna see some birds. I want this place to feel like Snow White motherfucking house. You know what I mean? Like that type of shit. I want some bunnies running around. I want some birds all over the place. Give me some skunks that don't spray from their nasty yucky pouch. Like, give me some snow. I want deer out there. Give, how do I attract deer? Tell me that. What the heck is happening? I always say Fawn has tacones, heels on every time she walks. Watch, come here Fawn. Come here Fawn. Come here. You hear her little tacones? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You hear? Okay, and this guy just got a shower with his papa. Stop, stop, stop. stop. Why don't you like Fawn? Stop, stop. There's something about Taiko with Fawn. They just do not yeah. like each other. I loved dogs when I was a kid, but Me I was too. really scared of them though. Oh, so but, like, what, but he was born with her already here. No, but I was, so I had a, I was four or five and that's when we got our first Tyson. He has a golden retriever, so he's big. Mm -hmm. And I was like, he just wanted to lick me, but I'd be all scared all the time. And I think it was just the sheer size, because I felt like there was a lion. Oh, but oh, I don't know. Like you would think that, sorry, I'm like closing up shop here in Tyka's room. You would think that he would be used to seeing her because he doesn't have a life without her in it. And she's never done anything to like scare him. No, she's so protective. She's like this all the time around him. She only sniffs him, she licks him. And very like, like once in a while too. She doesn't lick them all the time. And it's like maybe three licks and then she gets away. It's like she tells them like, I think she you're a good boy. Be. I want, I want. Fawn. Fawn, come here Fawn. You know your name, you pretty girl. You pretty girl. Cause you know when I punched Taika in the face, like he's still really scared of it still. That's not even funny. <laughs> I don't like it. No, but he's scared. He's, she's, he's still scared of big animals, I think. Funny, your breath's stinky, dude. We need to brush your stinky. teeth. What, dude? Stinky, dude. Are you a stinky dude? Uh-uh. Why? Because when I'm out of I see my pen noodle. You could have just said because you just took a shower. What do you think about this dog right here? That's not a dude. What a dude. That's hey, Taika. Where are you? I'll hear it. You know I'm gonna get really sad when you can't wear pajamas with footsies? Did you know that? Mm -hmm. Did you do you know what I mean? What do I mean? <clears throat> exactly. That's what I mean, ladies and gentlemen. What in the world? Papa! 
Nice. Nice. I didn't even have to tell you, my dude. I didn't even have to tell you, my dude. You fell for it, Taika. Come on, buddy. I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake, I'm awake. Don't do that, sweetie. Okay. 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 Hey, don't do that. Don't do that, sweetie. Next. Okay, that sounded like a lot of bad words, but uh, on that note, everybody. Thank you guys so much for staying this long on the vlog. Yo, I appreciate that about you. I can tell, I can tell. You are a tenacious person and you fight for what you want. You stay and you fight for it. And that's what you did today watching this vlog. You fought through the whole damn thing. Cause geez Louise, we're fucking boring. What are you doing over here? Okay, well on that note, beautiful ladies and gents, thank you guys so much for enjoying our life. As much as you guys want to see it, we're going to keep showing it to you. Um, don't kick people! Just kind of kicked me. But yeah, I appreciate that. Um, you love us as much as you do. I wish we could meet you all one day. So if you ever see us on the street, say, what's up? I want to give you a motherfucking hug. Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day today and tomorrow and for the rest of 2020 because God knows we all need this shit right now. We all need the good jujus, the good vibes. So go to sleep smiling today. Hug everyone you love. Um, don't be angry. Don't hold grudges. Have a good old life. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Ah!